Hey guys, Ben here from Corner Flag Games, and welcome to episode number 10 of the Hibernian Road to Glory career mode. So, in today's episode, like always, there will be four games, two played and two simulated, so we will now jump across into the calendar and have a look at those games. So the first game that will be a played game is an away game against Rangers in the league. A simulated game will be away to Kilmarnock, who are sitting fourth in the league. And the third game, which will also be simulated, is a home game against Dundee in the league. And the fourth and final game, which will be played, is Dundee again in the semi-final of the Scottish Cup. So guys, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay guys, so moving into today's first game, we are away to Rangers in the league. So guys, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, ladies and gents, so here it is. We are facing off against Rangers in the league, and they will host us. And here is the Rangers lineup. It's Fodderingham in goal, a back four of Mabara, Kadic, Golson, and Wallace. Kubali, Jack, and Ndong make up a three-man midfield, and three up front in Candayas, Murphy, and more loss. Here is the Hibernian lineup. It's Livakovic in goal. A back for Bakayoko, Ambrose, Eolfsson, and Vojitsa. Steven Ugarkovic and Mark Milligan make up an All-Australian defensive midfield. Out on the right, due to injuries, we have Martin Boyle on the left. It's Resolvo coming up through the guts. It's Horgan. And Florian Kimberry will play up front for the injured Jamie McLaren. And Rangers are going to get us underway for the start of this game. Rangers sitting second in the league, followed very closely by Celtic in third. We are a couple of points ahead of both the lads. But let's see if we can push on forward and make that gap even greater. And four and a half minutes in and our second tackle for this game. And more loss for Rangers has gone off injured. Bakioko just clean absolutely ran through him and took him out. And as I say that, we've won the ball back. Oh, Boyle! <clears throat> Unlucky. Apologies for my voice. By the Rangers players here, but they sort of have backed off. He's gone out wide to Resolvo. Can Resolvo hold on to this ball? He does. Gives it to Vojitsa. Vojitsa into Yugarkovic. It takes a wobbly bounce. It's bouncing everywhere. But Fodderingham comes in and cleans that one out. Kurbali through the midfield to Kyle Lafferty. And Dong flicks one over the top. Murphy gets a foot on that one. Is he going to get the cross in? He does. Voyager off his chest. Very well played by the young Australian. Milligan is dispossessed by Kyle Lafferty in a very dangerous area. If this cross comes in, we might not have enough numbers back. Voyager again with the crucial interception header. And it falls out to Steven Ugarkovic. So we're just going to go straight across to Steven Ugarkovic. Try and... Open up some space here. It's Ambrose who's sitting quite high. I see a man running there. It's Mark Milligan. Mark Milligan tries to play one through to Kemberry. Kemberry takes a strike. It falls. And it comes off Fodderingham. And it's in the back of the net. Oh, my days. It was a calamitous time. And it's come to the new Aussie. The new Aussie boy in the 47th minute. As you can see... Kimberry tries to get a shot off very early in the box. It takes a deflection off the Rangers defender. Falls very luckily to Boyle. Boyle smacks it on his left. And it comes off Fodderingham's shin to smack itself into the back of the net. It was scrappy, but we'll take it. And the goal comes to Martin Boyle for his fifth goal in the Scottish Prem. And just before half time, Rangers are going to get us... Firing away again. We're doing well so far. And ladies and gentlemen, there it is. That is the halftime whistle. So, Rangers came forward at us very hard in that first half. We did well defensively to keep them out. They had a couple of golden opportunities that they just couldn't bury. And then the boys roll into the sheds at halftime. It's Rangers nil. Hibernian won. So guys, here are the match facts at the halftime break. So for Rangers, it's no goals, one shot, none on target with a shooting accuracy of 0%. To Hibernians, one goal, two shots, one on target with a shooting accuracy of 50%. Passing accuracy, well, we are well falling behind there with 64% to Rangers, 82%. And the possession, Rangers have had a hell of a lot more of it with 55% 
to her Burnian's 45%. So guys, without further ado, we're going to jump into this second half. So as we start this second half, it's going to be Florian Kemberry who gets this match underway again. And it's not been the standard Hibernian whitewash full of possession game that we are used to. But we will roll with it. We've got a lucky break uh, late in that first half. Malin and Dong. Lafferty back to Endong. Come out, Livakovic. And they've smacked one into the back of the net. 67 minutes in. They're pushing hard and they're pushing quite high ranges. They know they don't want to lose this game. We did everything we could to try and stop this build-up play. But nothing that we could do. The last-ditch effort of bringing out Livakovic to try and shut things down. And Endong with a classy, classy goal. And the goal comes to Didier Endong for three goals in the Scottish Prem. And from a 1-0 lead, it is now a one-all draw. Rangers having absolutely everything so far in this second half. We can't even make a straight pass to another player. They all just want to take heavy touches. Boyle loses out again. Milligan, be patient. Resolvo goes down the line to Mendy Secker, who's come on for Voyutsa. Puts one in at the back stick, but nobody's there to clean it out. Oh, and they've slipped one down the side for Candaeus. Is there anybody there? There's nobody there! Why did you run away? You fucking idiot! It was a good cross in by Candaeus. You can see I was trying to bring Bakayoko further forward, but for some reason he just wouldn't fucking do it. And they've pumped another one past us. They've kept him out all game. Murphy with a beautiful volley. And the goal comes to Jamie Murphy for his 14th goal in the Scottish Premier League. And there it is, ladies and gents. And there it is. Bakayoko plays one through, slips it on through to Horgan. Horgan's going to have to cut it back. And that's not where I wanted that pass. It was meant to be cut back at the top of the box. But anyway. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Again, in true Hibernian fashion, under the management of myself, we've thrown away a one-goal lead to lose 2-1 to a bunch of players that will not pass fucking straight anymore. And at the end of 90 minutes, it's Rangers 2, Hibernian 1. So guys, at the end of 90 minutes against Rangers, here are the match facts. So it's two goals for Rangers, five shots, three on target with a shooting accuracy of 60%. Two Hibernians, one goal, two shots, one on target with a shooting accuracy of 50%. Possession did even out amongst the second half with 49% to Rangers to 51% to Hibernian and a passing accuracy, which let us down in the first half, 81% for the second half and 86 for Rangers. So guys, moving into today's second game, we are away to Kilmarnock in the league. And as you will see in just a moment, we are running our backup brigade because this game comes two days after the loss to Rangers. I don't see us getting too far done in this game, but Hinman does come up in the seventh minute. So we're just going to jump through. And we managed to scrape through with a 2-1 win against fourth place Kilmarnock. Alrighty guys, so moving into today's third game and it is another simulated game and it is at home to Dundee so we are running out our first team as our next game against Dundee and the cup does come uh, six days after this one so they should have plenty of time to rest it will also give McLaren some minutes under his boots back up top of striker and as I say that one minute in Horgan does score the goal so we will jump straight on through this and it is a convincing 3-1 win over Dundee Although, worryingly, E. Olsen does manage off with a red card. Okay, guys, so moving into today's fourth and final game, it, it, we are at home to Dundee once more in the Scottish Cup semi-final. So, guys, without further ado, we're going to jump straight into this game. Okay, guys, so here we are in today's final game. It is the Scottish Cup semi-final, and it is Hibernian hosting Dundee. Here is the Hibernian lineup. It's Livakovic in goal, a back for a Bakayoko, Ambrose, Hanlon, and Boyitsa Hanlon standing in for the suspended Eolson. 
Yugakovic and Milligan make up our defensive midfielders. Canberry on the right, Resolvo on the left, Horgan coming up through the guts, and Jamie McLaren leading the line. It's Hamilton and goal or back four of Kerr, Meekings, Kasunga, and Miller. Kamara at the DM, Deakin at right mid, Nawatala at left mid, Miller at the cam, and Nabi and Mendy up front are the strikers. And Jamie McLaren is going to get us underway for this Scottish Cup semi-final. He's hoping we don't cripple ourselves like we did against Rangers. And we can actually put some decent goals away and cement ourselves in the Scottish Cup final. And as we say that, McLaren puts in a through ball to Canberry. Canberry puts one back through to Horgan, who's making a run on, but to no avail. Ulitsa gets in there with the header. And, oh, as Horgan gets absolutely fucking railed, that was a disgusting challenge. But we managed to pick up possession once more. Hanlon playing out from the back, out to Bakayoko. Kyoko playing it inside, going safe to Mark Milligan. Milligan forward to Yugakovic, back to Milligan once more. Milligan hasn't scored a worldie in a while now. It's McLaren, he's going to take one from outside the box. And it's only just wide, the perfect time shot there. Just barely scrapes the post. He's done well to get that one off, young Jamie. Hamilton fires that one out. It's Deacon. Boyitsa to intercept. Goes through to Daryl Horgan. He sees a man running. It's Florian Kemberry. He's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Does a time shot. And he hits the inside of the post. Smacks it again, but it goes well over the bar. What the fuck is going on with you lot? Why can't you score? As you can see by the replay, it was a fast one. And he smashes that one on the inside of the post. And then blazes the secondary shot straight over the bar. Cuts inside. It's Milligan now. Milligan waiting for a run. Not too much happening that he wants to risk out here. Horgan goes out wide. It's gone to Stevie Yugakovic, waiting for that run to come down that line, and it does. It's Ivan Boyutsa puts in a cross back stick. It's Ken Berry who takes it first time and scuffs it like he did the last one. Yugakovic puts in a header through. Kasunga stops it. Cross comes back out. Falling into the middle to Jamie McLaren, who sees Florian Kenberry making a run. And he's made that run, and he's picked up on it. And it's gone into the centre. They're taking the strike. Hamilton with a beautiful save. And we should be three up, 26 minutes in. But we are no better. I can't, I can't tell who the shot came in from. It looked like it came in from McLaren. Yugakovic now playing it all the way wide. Waiting for Kimberry to make a run. He's popped the ball through. Can we go back stick? We've gone back stick. And out of the two players that we had there, not one of them can get the ball. Bakayoko comes inside to Milligan. Does well to hold possession. Resolvo back through to Milligan. Milligan with another worldie. And it looks like it's taken a clip off Kasunga. He's done well, Mark Milligan, to get the shot off there on his left. Yep, it does take a clip off Kasunga. And we will get a corner out of it. Same thing again. Resolvo, corner in the 35th. Dumps it straight in. We get a hit on it. Backstick, Hawken pokes it home. Wow. Out of all the goals, I'd have figured that one would have been the hardest of the absolute lot. And we've scored it. We can't score the easy one, but we can score the hard one. The header comes in from the corner. Very well done. It's a deep one. Poke, poke, and he just pokes it home. He just sticks a leg out. Did it come off his knee? Did it come off his shin? What has he done? Oh, no. He's just... Yeah, he's shinned it. He's shinned it home. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it. <laughs> if, that's, if that's how we have to do things, we're going to start doing it. And it comes to Dara Horgan for his first goal in the Scottish Cup. And now, Dundee are one behind. Nearing on half time. Coming very shortly now. Resolvo going to come inside to Horgan. Horgan tries to play in Mark Milligan to no avail. They get it out only as far as Bakayoko though. Tries to put that one through. Horgan gives it through to Kenberry. Can Kenberry screw it this time? No, he can't. Even with the off-time time shot, he still manages to find the back of the net this time. It was well worked. Bakayoko tries to get it across to Horgan. Horgan plays it through. I didn't think Kenberry would make the run, considering it wasn't a through ball. It was actually a pass. But he's done. He's danced around the outside. He's come close. Keeper's come out to meet him. And he's down well, slotted that one home. Finally, he's got his shooting boots back on. 
And the goal comes to Florian Camberry for his first goal in the Scottish Cup. Now we're closer to halftime. Right on the halftime mark, we pop in a absolute second and a decent one at that. It lets us sit comfortably for this game. You know, they say the 1-0 the score line is generally not the one to be sitting back on. But here come, here they come once more. And ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do us for the first half. So th the stats are going to say that, you know, we've had the majority of the possession. And we have. We haven't been able to do an absolute lot with it. But Dundee have been defending really, really well in this game. But as the boys roll into the sheds at halftime, it's Hibernian 2, Dundee 0. And here are the match facts at the halftime break. So it's two goals, nine shots, three on target, with a shooting accuracy of 33% to Hibernian. Two Dundees, zero goals, one shot, none on target, with a shooting accuracy of a big fat duck. Their passing accuracy is also falling behind with 76% to Hibernian's 80%. And the possession heavily favoured to us with 60%. To Dundee's 40%. So, guys, without further ado, we're going to jump straight into the second half. And it's Dundee who are going to kick us off for this second half. And we're playing relatively well so far. You know, the boys are starting to get their shit together finally after, you know, a couple of tumultuous performances and a bit of, uh, you know, a bit of corner flag rage in the last couple of episodes. But we will persevere. And it's Milligan who tries to play in a very optimistic through ball. And it's not the player I wanted it to go to. I wanted it to go full out wide, but that's okay. Deacon on the line here for Dundee. He wins it back through some sloppy defending. Mendy playing it through to Miller. The edge of the box, they're hustling. To put one through, and they've had a shot. And it's gone over the bar. Zolvo now. I see a man running. It is Daryl Horgan who's going to push on. And put in an early cross. See if we can win it. Unfortunately, we can't. Jamie McLaren just sort of stood there with it. Steven Yugarkovic. Now he's going to play in. Bakayoko down this outside of the box. We flip one into the back stick. Hamilton gets it. We've flicked it. Oh, and it's in. We've managed to turn it in. We've caused all sorts of chaos in the box. And the goal. It looks like it's Resolvo who's picked up on the scraps. We needed two strikes to get it in. Bakayoko sort of chips it into the back stick. Keeper gets a touch on it. It's a beautiful flying overhead kick from Daryl Horgan, which sees the ball deflect out, takes a few touches, hits Resolvo, takes a deflection on the way in by all sorts as well. And the three Dundee defenders and the goalkeeper could not put it in. And it's Resolvo for his second in the Scottish Cup. Well, well, well. Who'd have thought this would be the scoreline? We did beat them before. I think it was 3-1 from memory. It's currently 3-0 now with still half an hour to play. And as I say, that Dundee turnover possession to McLaren, who goes down the line. It's Florian Kemberry. Doesn't have the legs on him. He's flicked that one in, though. It's gone past McLaren. He's overrun it. Andy Secker once more. Vargas plays that one through to Boyle. Boyle through to Resolvo. Resolvo takes a strike. It's a worm burner. But it's easy saved. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. If you wanted a more crucial win in the Scottish Cup, you have just seen it. What a fantastic game to come off the back of that loss from Rangers 2-1. And to come out and smash Dundee twice by very similar scorelines. Resolvo, a man on absolute fire in this game, scored one with four attempts, hit the crossbar, Took a long shot. It was all sorts of fun. And at the end of 90 minutes, we book our place. Hibernian 3, Dundee 0. So guys, at the end of our Scottish Cup semi-final game against Dundee, here are the match facts. So with three goals to Hibernian, 18 shots with eight on target and a shooting accuracy of 44%. That is a lot of shots. Dundee's zero goals, three shots, one on target with a shooting accuracy of 33%. Our passing accuracy was fairly even amongst both sides with 79% to Hibernian and 78% to Dundee and the possession heavily favouring us with 59% to Dundee's 41%. Alrighty guys, so that about wraps up today's episode. So for our next episode there will be another four games and here's a little hint guys. The first one is against Celtic which we will play 
but there are some very, very dangerous games in these next four games, and this is going to make or break our current season. So I'll leave you on that little bit of a cliffhanger, but thank you very much for watching, guys. Be sure to give the video a like if you enjoyed it, and leave your comments and feedback below. Don't forget to smack that subscribe button if you haven't already, and tick the little notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. For all those that don't know, please jump on and join in the fun and the banter at the official Corner Flag Games Discord server. The link will be on screen and in the description below for that. And for those of you that don't know, I am currently live streaming some uh, little games here and there with some friends. And that is happening at the moment either on Twitch or on YouTube. I will let you know when I post on social media for that. So make sure you are subscribed on YouTube and tick the notification and also you are following me on my Twitch channel. So the link for that will also be on screen and in the description below. And I'll be back with the next episode of the Hibernian Road to Glory career mode soon.